Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're coming back with a revised version of our Jeskai Lumbering Battlement Infinite Combo deck. So, uh, the first video was up on uh, the YouTube channel already if you want to check it out. But effectively, this is a combo deck featuring creatures that will allow you to either infinitely draw your deck, infinitely mill your opponent, infinitely create goblin creatures, infinitely deal damage to your opponent, infinitely gain life, infinitely gain mana. Uh, and infinitely board wipe your opponent. I think that's all of it. Uh, so it's got a lot of fun lines of play to it, and it's all kind of centering around Lumbering Bombardment. So this is a 5 mana 4 5 Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you can exile any number of non-token uh, creatures itself, it get, and then Lumbering Bombardment gets plus 2 2 for each card exiled this way. When it leaves the battlefield, those creatures come back into play. This effectively allows you to uh, recycle your enter the battlefield effects. Uh, so if you have two lumbering battlements and either a mirror image or three lumbering battlements you're able to infinitely loop them together uh, to ha keep triggering the enter the battlefield enter the battlefield loop and then deal with any of the sort of enter the battlefield effects I mentioned earlier. Um, so the deck itself we have two ops just for some card draw and cycling. Thud is an alternate wing con uh, if you make your battlement large enough, you can just throw it at your opponent's face and deal a lot of damage to them, which is actually a pretty fun way to kill them. I uh, almost was able to one-shot the opponent in another game. Uh, three Wall of Lost Thoughts. So this is the way we mill our opponent. Uh, top four cards of their library in the graveyard. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, and it's an 0-4 body that's good against aggro to help us kind of stay alive until the mid to late game when we can start using battlement. Dire Flirt da Daredevil allows us to exile an instant or sorcery from our opponent's graveyard, and we can cast it that turn. Uh, it's also a 2-1 first strike, which is relevant against a lot of the aggressive decks. Uh, and it's being a pirate is somewhat relevant for an item I'll mention later. Uh, Goblin Instigator gives us two bodies for two mana, allows us to block early, but also is a way we can make infinite goblins. Fiyoshino Pyromancer is a way we can deal 2 damage to any target, and this is how we deal infinite damage. Uh, Judifier, Judasire fires blink effect, basically. Uh, so you exile a creature, return to the battlefield, it gains first strike. So this is how we can reset our battlements and just get uh, not infinite, but reoccurring under the battlefield effects. And then we're playing one Siren's Ruse, which is the same effect. It doesn't get the first strike, but if we exile a pirate this way, uh, we get to draw a card. So in a pinch, we can exile either our Dire Fleet Devil or our Sailor of Means. That is a tongue twister in itself. Uh, so Sailor of Means is the other pirate in the deck, and this just is a way for us to generate infinite treasure tokens and help us ramp. Um, but really, this helps us bridge from 3 to 5 mana, as we have nothing in the 4-drop slot. Inspiring Cleric is a way for us to gain infinite life. Mirror Image can copy any relevant creature at the time. Um, it's worth noting that if it's just a mirror image under the battlement and you have no other creatures, when the battlement leaves, all the creatures enter the battlefield at the same time and all the abilities see each other, so mirror image won't have anything to copy, so it will die. So you need a second creature onto the battlefield. Uh, chain Whirler is here to wipe against the board against like aggro, but it can also infinitely, when we go in the infinite loop, wipe out our opponent's board and deal them infinite damage. And then we have three Deputy of Detention. So this is a way to kind of slow down the opponent, any sort of like exile effects, planeswalkers, whatever it may be. Um, we can reset it if need be, uh, but this cannot target our own battlement. This was a mistake I made in the first video, um, that you can't exile your own. Older cards like Fiend Hunter, you were able to target your own spells. Newer cards you can, unfortunately. And then Sky Scanner is the best way we can draw cards in the deck for three colorless mana. Uh, there's not really anything that's other than like a loot effect or something that needs to be triggered off raid in these colors. The rest of the mana base is pretty much a bunch of duels and uh, two mountains. You can play guild gates, it's going to be a little slower, um, but usually mana is the one thing you want to craft early if you're interested in playing a certain color scheme. Blue and white safe if you want to play uh, anything from like white based aggro with like with blue splash to control uh, to mid range as well. Uh, so we'll give it a shot, take it through a couple rounds, see how it goes. 
try to get the combo off. So as we get started, if you haven't done so already, if you're enjoying the content and looking for a way to uh, show your thanks, uh, if you subscribe, it's a free and easy way to show your support and it goes a long way to helping me to continue to build out the channel and reach my certain YouTube goals that I need to keep uh, pumping out the video. So if you could, it'd be greatly appreciated. So we'll just wait for an opponent to start now. Been noticing the queues have been getting a little longer for best of one. Uh, I don't know if everyone's just playing ranked right now. But it's unusual to be waiting like a minute. So this hand does nothing. Keep this hand. Just dig for a land. So here I'm just going to play cliff top. Play out the Pyromancer here. Really need to hit a third land. If we hit a third land, we should be good with the t two redraw effects. Not the best. not the best so we'll just pass the turn once we hit that third land we're off to the races weird mix of spells in the deck No attacks for us here. If they want to attack in with something, we can blink it, give it first strike. So the opponent's probably trying to target Spectacle. Sure. got lots of burn. Might be falling too far behind this game. See if they attack in. A little awkward because we had to shock ourselves there, but we really need to continue drawing. So no attacks for us here. Have another skewer the critics. Okay, so play another gutter snipe. Here we take four. Take three. I think we need our creatures alive. Gives us the best chance. Uh, so here we'll just play out another Sky Scanner, see what we draw if it's a dual land. Deputy would have been good. I think we're a little too far behind. Yeah, they have the shock. We had a lot of good cards, just the mana was a little short that game. The goal for that game was just to try to get a bombardment out, and then large enough that we could have just thudded it the next turn.
This sounds a bit better. So hopefully not too aggressive of a deck. Timber Gorge. So here we'll lead on the Steam Vents. Play out Hallowed Fountain next turn. And then... Uh, actually may just do Sacred Foundry. Uh, the reason we do this is in case we get Chain Whirler on three. Uh, we want to have triple red up. Draconic Disciple. So they can sack it for seven for a five five. So next turn. So we actually have the combo to generate infinite mana right now in hand. Um, but I think we'll just go another Sailor next turn. If they want to waste a Shock here, they can. It's fine. Not the end of the world. Uh, so here I actually like going... Sailor. Have that enter tapped. Then just play the wall. Keeps our life total high. Let's see what we hit. Colossal Might, Elvish Rejuvenator. Alright, so you got a Carnage Tyrant. That's cool. But, uh, do we then just wait a turn? So let's see right now. They hit us for seven. This would become a eight nine. So it can block the Carnage Tyrant. We can play this out, just gain four life. Yeah, let's just do that. They're not going to beat us all in one turn. No attacks for us. One, two, three, four, five. So six. It's fine if they're gonna blow a bane fire on that. Oh sweet, and we got the thud. So we got an eight nine cow. They are at 7, so they can make a 5-5 five, five flyer, which is relevant. We can gain life if it's in a pinch. Uh, so here... We can portal blanket. Yeah, let's do that. So... We'll attack if they want to double block. We can blink it. So this forces their hand a bit. See how they want to go. It's fine. Let's just blink this. So we'll mill them, we'll gain some life. Got rid of some really good cards there. I have mirror image, copy lumbering battlement. Have it copy here. So we'll melt the opponent and then gain some more life. So they'll sack there. So next turn, basically, we exile this one.
chain whirler is nice too. Let's just see if the opponent concedes if we gain infinite life. So one, two, three. So we'll exile here, and this is how the chain goes. Have this copy this. Uh, so we can actually just mill our opponent out here. And that's how the combo goes. So we were just going to loop it through, gain infinite life, infinite mill, and then uh, we would just stop copying at a certain point. Okay, so we'll play a couple more. That was a great demonstration of the deck. So there we saw how we used kind of low stakes, just uh, gain a couple of extra points of life, deal a little bit of mill there. Uh, this hand's a bit slower, but I think we keep wall can help us bridge, hopefully. Lead with the foundry for white. And a pinch of it's lethal, we can... Sky Scanner's great. Alright, so this looks like red-white hero. Justice Strike actually will never be able to kill Battleman either. So Sky Terror is something relevant. Chain Whirler is nice for next turn. We can play Land Tapped. Tajik. Just block Tajik. Play that tapped, and then just play out the Chain Whirler. Um, we're not going to block, so might as well get in a point of damage. Might be relevant. For a Thud turn. We do even amounts of damage with Thud, so... Want to be able to get him down. So they can first strike here. I think we just block like this. The option to give him first strike. So deputy is pretty nice as well. I think we actually just play it safe. Can exile that. Attacking with both. Not the best, but they did waste on that instead of the battlement. Sky Knight Legionnaire. Okay, and we'll just block here. Uh, so here we'll attack in for one. Just attacking for one. In case I have another response, I don't want him to do that to the deputy. And then we'll just, we're gonna keep the deputy as is. I don't want him to get back the Sky Terror. So here they can hit in for three again.
Next turn we'll wall and then attack in for eight and then we can blink if needed. Pretty aggressive by the opponent. So they can mill. No blocks here. That's great. So we'll slow down the opponent. This gets us the most value for the next turn. One hero, unbreakable formation. So it's a straight Boros. Yeah, an opponent concedes. So that's just a good way that showing that we can control the board and uh, take it from there. Gotta let's crack the pack. Scargan Hellkite. Ah, basically a Scargan Hellkite. Building Gruel Aggro for uh, try hard mode and ranked. Been stuck on platinum for a while, so I just want to build out that gruel deck. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck. Um, if you're interested, I can make a best of three version of the deck. I feel like a lot of the elements though of it are based on the surprise element, so it's more of a best of one deck. But if you're interested in a sideboard, let me know in the comments and I could throw something together. Likely be more just mid-range value with some uh, negates and stuff in the sideboard and maybe some teferis. But thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.